so you're going to do something off the top of your head. And you commit to it. You're fucking kidding me. Fucking sprite bots. Look at this shit. This is fucking crazy, man. You're 100 fucking percent committed. You ever feel like you're not fucking putting in the right... You know, do you just want to fucking finish that sentence? You know, what makes uh, an individual special is their relationships. <clears throat> and the fucking towel's pink and white today. It's not uh, always pink and white. Sometimes it's pink and pink. Oh, it looks like it's got some light pink on there. Uh, wavelength. Ten foot. What is 10 foot? <laughs> okay, so... Like, can you imagine being in somebody else's body uh, and perceiving yourself... from their body? You know, I've uh, heard of uh, astral projection, but maybe that's not what you're thinking about. Maybe what you're thinking about is uh, being controlled by uh, another individual because they fucking ate you, or... Um, you you happen to uh, inter you happen to uh, um, combine your uh, um, like your archetypal potential. You know, but what does that accomplish, right? Well, to me, um, you could uh, work on yourself while uh, you uh, attempt to uh, just uh, like uh, use your uh, creativity. Uh, to uh, focus on uh, using that person's body. And uh, that would leave your... Uh, your, like, your factual potential open for... Uh, You know, like, uh, character development on yourself. But say you, uh, saw yourself in, uh, while you were in somebody else's body. You know, what would that do to your psyche? Even while you thought, like, uh, you were this other guy, you know? 
that's talking to you right now. I think after a while, you would uh, kind of lose your sense of self. Hey, we got 365. But I think your will would like live on in uh, this person's like uh, unconscious creative mind. So eventually, their creativity would be used up. And uh, it would be uh, potentiated into uh, reality just by means of uh, unconscious uh, projection. And you would eventually live again But maybe as an entirely different idea, or archetype even. You know, it's a scary thought, but how do you come to this conclusion, you know? You just gotta have the, uh... Gotta have the balls to, uh... Confront these uh, demons of yours, you know. What do uh, you do with like uh, Did you guys see it? It was the Wanderer, I saw it. It's fucking behind me. It's the fucking lagging hacker. They're after us. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, what do they call the... I'm actually fucking scared for my fucking, my well-being, my physical well-being at this point. I, uh, have a, uh, idea that I want to get out there, but I don't think I've hit the, uh, nail on the head as far as, like, talking about it yet. So I'm basically just beating around a fucking bush right now. The last time I, t I killed uh, two birds with one stone... So do you ever like uh, make a mistake and uh, it was the thing you were trying not to fucking do? Like, uh, you know, on what a uh, fucking scale do you have to be thinking to like uh, not fuck up? This one fucking thing. Um, that's just so fucking easy to do. 
or it, it's so fucking easy to just fucking screw up. You know, like who we fucking ask. <laughs> Carefully put it back on her face. I feel like uh, if you try too hard, that's whenever you fuck shit up. But whenever I say it, it's like it doesn't have any uh, like uh, basis in reality. You know, like there's a uh, catch to uh, actually being alive and communicating and completing fucking tasks. You know, and it's all about distracting yourself and uh, living in the moment or whatever. And to me, that's... Uh, you know, it's it's a good sentiment, you know? And uh, that's the... Uh, that's the fucking, like, uh, the baseline for... Um, Uh, getting other opinions out there, you know? It's called, uh... Don't, uh... Just dismiss this fucking life that you were blessed with. Yeah, I can fucking... Beat around this fucking bush all fucking day. You know, you gotta fucking. Uh. You know, what's the what's the number one way to get somebody's attention? Fucking call the police? Or do you threaten their fucking family? Or do you go to their fucking house with a weapon? You know, and then fucking shoot him in the leg or something. You know, you're trying to get their attention, not fucking kill him. You never feel like uh, playing dead is like a good uh, strategy. Hang on, I'll be back. If you think about it, um, I think in some situations it would be a good strategy. In other situations, say, uh, if you were being tortured, um, they could just throw your body into the garbage, and, uh, who knows if that garbage is a, uh, is a trash compactor or an incinerator. Because if the garbage is a vat of acid and they decide to dispose of your body that they think is uh, deceased, you know, um, you're left with, uh, uh, fighting for your life from a, uh, position where you tried to fake your own death. And, uh, that's kind of complicated to think about. see I'm fairly close to finishing this thing but well probably like halfway done 
Maybe a little less than halfway done. Appreciate the small things, right? How does one appreciate? You ask too many questions. You simply realize what you have in life and you think of something better that you have. What does that accomplish? If you focus on the better things instead of the good things, your life will be better. No? I don't know. It feels like kind of nonsense uh, now that I say it. Sometimes you have to deal with nonsense. All right, so when you have a weak fucking will, you will find yourself easily distracted by anything and they will and when I say they I mean any member of any organization or any individual will drive you away from the path that you should be walking on and it's not any of my business to tell you what path you should be walking on. It's my business to tell you that there are other individuals who will abuse their relationships, you know? And uh, I could be one of those individuals. You know, I don't feel good about it. <sighs> you know, it's, it's realizing your priorities and what comes first, you know. And given a situation, you know, when... Is it okay to act out? You know, that's a complicated set of, uh, Reasoning. It's, compl it's complicated reasoning. You know, I, I feel like some things are okay to ignore. You know, in my main quest for uh, whatever it is I'm trying to achieve. 
So I'll basically try and block out like uh, anything that I feel is distracting. And uh, I find that that's good practice. I just I also find that uh, given a situation, you uh, have the common sense to know what should and shouldn't take place in a uh, quest for whatever it is you're questing for. You know, have I gotten lazy? Maybe. Or maybe... Uh, I'm not exercising the right muscles because, you know, uh, I've just been trained to uh, not fight back, you know? Maybe let things happen. You know, in w what world is that a good uh, practice, you know? I, uh, I think, uh, everybody wants a piece of the pie, but... Not everybody gets a piece of the pie, you know? You know, in which world, you know? Because what if there's plenty, you know, there's in this world, there's plenty of pie to go around. Uh oh, stick in the inventory. Fucking rad roach is pissing me off. Kill this bastard. Hi, motherfucker. Kill him. Don't kill him. Let him live. He didn't do anything wrong to you. I think I'm going to kill it. No, don't kill it. It's these, uh, hard decisions. It's these hard choices. It's these, uh, difficult choices. So there's a spot over on this wagon, or uh, at least there was. Yeah, I thought there was a spot where we could uh, think, uh, avoid the uh, raiders. But basically, if uh, If you had wings, you could, uh, deal damage to them without taking any damage. If you, uh, 
take cover behind an object. Here we have a filing cabinet room with some lockers in it. Here we have the uh, room with the refrigerator in it. And there's a uh, Evidence law, uh, room. You know, to me, these aren't lockers. These are like, uh, cabinets. We got a book. Oh, this is a good spot. Here we go. I think this uh, water fountain works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. It doesn't. Bastard. Give me some water. <laughs> I'm fucking thirsty. Some fucking water. I just start throwing all my fucking items away. You know, what would that accomplish, right? Let's, uh, let's see here. We got the uh, terminal back here. Hold on, I'll try this one. Nope. like some text on this uh looking at a uh, door with no doorknob what kind of fucking door doesn't have a doorknob on it Yeah. 
you know, uh, there's a saying, bite the hand that feeds you, or, uh, disrespect your elders, or fucking stupid games, stupid prizes. I think this is one of those uh, situations, you know? Where you should just, uh, you know, sit back and enjoy your fucking, uh, shit you were supplied with. <laughs> 